Okay, test, test, test. Hello guys, I'm back in Genshin Impact, but I'm on my PC laptop. Okay, on my laptop, not on my phone. So this is different. I'm gonna try to do a video using my laptop this time. So I'm going to play this story, uh, the 3.8 um, event story, I think. <laughs> Just, just logged in there. Hmm. Wonder what's up this time. Yeah, wonder what's up this time. I wonder. Uh, first let me just uh, before anything. That's for later. <laughs> I wonder if the volume is too loud. I hope it's not uh too loud. <coughs> Okay, uh, what was it again? What uh, should I try this. this time? An invitation from afar, a mysterious missive on paper wings. Okay, but uh, let me change my characters, make it like actually following the story. Uh, There's still a long road ahead. Solo for now. And Let's go. What's going on this time? Just checking. Uh, the events. Not unlocked yet. Yeah. Oh yeah, a new banner. Well, I'm skipping the first phase. Okay. For you. Whoa, looks like Jean wasn't the only one waiting for us. Klee and Kaya are here too. Oh, it's Paimon and Mr. Honorary Knight. It's been so long. Ah, look who it is. You've caught me completely off guard this time. But then again, it's always a pleasant surprise when you two show up. <laughs> Guess we were so excited to see Jean again that we forgot to knock. I hope we didn't startle anyone. Uh, wait a sec. You weren't talking about anything that we're not supposed to hear, were you? <laughs> Showing your guide the way? Yeah, right. <laughs> it's been a while since we last met, but I can see you two haven't changed one bit. Don't worry, we weren't discussing anything confidential. In fact, we were just talking about you. Maybe we should let the star of the story explain it in their own words. Yeah! Let me tell it! Let me tell it! A few days ago, I was reading Todo Good Tales in the solitary confinement room <laughs> when all of a sudden, whoosh, a letter came flying in through the window. The flying window. through the window? How does a letter fly? Like a bird does. It was flapping its wings. It could even talk. It said, um, well, it was a bunch of stuff I didn't understand. You couldn't understand? You couldn't understand. Then it must have been talking about how to avoid solitary confinement. <laughs> I was expecting Alice. Kaya? Just saying. We don't want to let a teachable moment slip by. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know. Anyway, it is the Alice, letter then. said, oh, please. Are you behaving? 
I see you've wound up in the solitary confinement room again. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry about that. Mommy is busy these yeah, days is, and is. can't take you out to play. But there's good news. I have a friend who has very kindly invited you to visit her. Okay, so who is this friend that we hear? Oh, so the letter's from Alice! In principle, yes. <sighs> but the issue is that Alice's friend lives quite far from here. Who is this friend? <laughs> the letter says that Mom's friend oh? lives in Sumeru. The Knights of Favonius could never agree to send Klee off to Sumeru on her own. But Klee is rather intent Klee on going taking to Alice's finally, friend up on this invitation. He's gonna bomb the whole... <laughs> Uh, you see, so we were wondering, who can we send with her on the journey? Preferably someone who's a reliable hero and with a history of saving Mondstadt. Us. Oh, so that's why you wanted to see us. I do apologize, but Klee gets along with you so well. We couldn't think of a more suitable choice. <sighs> sure, we can do that, no problem, right? <laughs> can you really, Mr. Honorary Knight? With Mr. Honorary Knight around, Klee's not afraid of anything! Mm -hmm. See, I told you that he'd agree. In that case, we'll leave Klee in the trusty hands of the Traveler. And you too, Kaya. You should join them. I noticed you quietly completed that backlog of paperwork we had. You deserve the chance to unwind a little. Oh, so you noticed. Well then, I suppose I have no reason to refuse. Great. Yeah, Kaya. Both of them are gonna get a skin. Kaya. No, they have a skin already. Still, <laughs> Sumeru is pretty far. It's gonna be a long journey. Don't worry. Mom's letter had a magic invite inside. Magic. Mom says we just have to all shout out where we want to go at the That's same so convenient. time, and poof, like a we'll be point, there yeah. in the blink of an eye. <laughs> wow. Well, that'll definitely make things easier. It only works three times, though. So we should only oh. use it when we really need to. Three's plenty. One for the way there, one for the way back, and one extra, just for good measure. Um, okay. Let's say one extra, then how do we go back? <laughs> Sounds very mysterious. Why three times? I still think we should use it sparingly. After all, we don't know the exact location of where we'll be headed or what dangers we may encounter yeah. on the way. Here's what I suggest. Traveler, oh, you're yeah, well so connected. I'm sure you must have friends who are familiar with Sumeru. I say we start by teleporting to one of them. Teleport to one of them? It'll give us a chance to test out the magic invite and also find ourselves a local guide. Hmm, that kind of makes sense. And since it has three uses, there's no point letting one of yeah. them go to waste. Couldn't have put it better myself, <laughs> Paimon. So, do you have a particular contact in mind? Well... <laughs> well, we need someone who's familiar Sinari? with Sumeru and can be our guide. Harley? So, sounds like we need a forest ranger. And everyone knows that the best place to go looking for a forest ranger is a little place called... Yep. That's the one. Maybe we can get Tainari to help us. All right. Gandarvaville it is. Okay, I'm happy wherever we go, especially with Kaya and Mr. Honorary Knight. Let's go. We should be on our way then. If you'll excuse us, Acting Grandmaster. Yes, let the wind lead. I wish you a safe journey. And, and Klee... Don't bomb the area. <laughs> I know, I know. Okay. I'll be careful, I promise. Great! Okay, here goes nothing. Take us to... Gandarvaville. Gandarvaville! Mm -hmm. Gandarvaville. Grand Arbor Hill! No! <laughs> this is... Uh, this is gonna be like... Uh, what was that? Uh, what was that word? The Harry Potter <laughs> reference. Diagon Alley, yeah? <laughs> Diagon Alley. Huh? Oh boy. Literally Diagon Ellie moment. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, so we are there already. Oh 
นานนี่สุดติกว่า <laughs> new area or not let's see Ah, uh, we still got down over here. Yeah. Huh. We made it. I'm always okay. sure we Please were about to it. end up someplace super weird. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it was an accident. It's okay, Kree. Good news is this magic invite really does work. Fascinating. One moment we're in Mondstadt. I mean, the next we're in Sumer. Five point points. Literally the same thing. <laughs> So this is where Mom's friend lives. Wow! There are so many big flowers. Oh, and jumpy mushrooms. Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. Sumeru is full of strange stuff like this. Oh yeah, this. we're in Sumeru. Can we Nahida check everyone? Like, um, silver fairies, mushrooms, forest with mushrooms. Huh? Paimon doesn't remember seeing one of those. <laughs> uh, wait. Are you talking about Paimon? Listen carefully, Klee. Those jumping mushrooms are called fungi. They may look cute, but if you get too close to one, it'll try to hit you with its cap. Really? Okay. Well, I'll hit it back with my cap, and then I'll hit it with the hood on my jacket too. Uh... <laughs> Definitely okay, yeah. win if it's two hats against one. one. As long as playing with hats doesn't escalate to playing with bombs. But Klee's our friend, so we should be able to convince her to keep this trip explosion free. Right? right. Uh huh. I'll be extra careful okay. not to blow anything up. Um, I mean, I'll try my best. Uh huh. Right. That's very good of you, Klee. <laughs> You're being very grown up today. Yep, I'm super grown up. I'm already the Spark Knight. Okay, Spark Knight. Well, keep up the good work, cause very soon we'll be introducing you to a oh, friend yeah, of ours we'll called Tanari well. in Gandarvaville. So yeah, we're just we're just in Gandarvaville. We're not even in a new place yet. Uh, Kaya and. I want to bring Nahida just in case. Klee. Klee can help. And Kaya. Ready when you are. Yeah, just in case. I've been waiting for you for ages. Because it's Sumeru. <laughs> Every time story in Sumeru, I have to bring Nahida. I don't know what. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm already getting used to moving around using the laptop. After doing the spiral abyss. Okay, go down. Just double check it. Hey. Yeah, that's alright. <laughs> what a try. Hmm. I've you definitely heard the other forest rangers mention somebody dressed like that before. Oh, yeah, Kade didn't know you that. <laughs> I see. Then it looks like my suspicions are correct. Suspicions? Hmm? Who do we have here? Traveler and Paimon! Huh? Oh! Kaya and Klee are here too! Hi, Kale! It's been ages! <laughs> Kale! Yeah! What are you two doing here? Well, that question's really more for you, La. Uh. Yeah. What a coincidence. I didn't expect to run into a fellow Favonian <laughs> captain this far from Mondstadt. How's the vacation going? Vacation? Seriously? Bring the whole crew, why don't you? Is it just Paimon, 
Sorry, does you and not look particularly thrilled right She's now? Not here. Oh, cool! Great idea! Let's go! If you're trying to accommodate me, there must be some misunderstanding. I'm fine. There's nothing embarrassing about running into colleagues in the wild. Uh, but earlier you were... Great! <laughs> well, I'm sure there's a fascinating reason behind why you're all the way out here in Sumeru. Do share it with us. Uh, sure looks like he's getting a kick out of this. If you must know, it's a little complicated. But simply put, I'm searching for a cousin of mine from the Lawrence clan. Cousin? He went missing recently, and after searching his home, we found evidence that led us here. He appears to believe that somewhere in Sumeru lies the key to restoring our clan to its former glory. He came all the way to Sumeru for that? Huh. What was he going to do? Enroll at the academia? <laughs> I doubt he came here to learn. He's much too old to start getting a basic education now. And from what I know of him, I doubt he has mm. any interest in intellectual pursuits. All he cares about is restoring his clan's honor. Nothing so wrong with that idea in principle, him? but I'm not certain how fanatical he is about it. So, there's no knowing what lengths he might go to. As a knight and a member of the Lawrence clan, it's my duty to make sure he doesn't bring harm to others. Oh-ho! If this is true, then your cousin is quite a man of action. Traveling alone to Sumeru from Mondstadt is no mean feat. Nor is daring to make me personally concerned about his safety. <laughs> he has no idea what's coming to him. You know, underneath it all, Hyman thinks Eula's a really caring person. Yeah, she's the best! She brought me some moon pie last time. <clears throat> <laughs> He is family, after all. Anyway, I will make sure to find him and escort him safely back to Mondstadt. <clears throat> now, back to you. How and why did you all suddenly show up here? Alright, explain. Hmm. I'm afraid that could be tricky. Master Tainari is still at part of the eye delivering his lectures. Uh. He isn't due back for a while. The but I think I'll be able to help out. <laughs> the description in the invitation letter is vague, but I'm pretty sure so it's looking at somewhere in the then. desert. I guess it's called is following us too. Alright, yeah, somewhere in the, in the desert. desert. Hmm? Does that mean mom's friend is from the desert? <laughs> hmm. I guess I'll call her Auntie Desert for now. I remember Mahamatra Sino once told me a strange rumor about that part of the desert. Rumor. They say there's a secret domain there that can make all of your wishes come true. Ah, uh, wait, wait. You said I should just call him Sino. Mm, I keep forgetting that. Huh. A domain that makes people's wishes come true. Wow. So is it true? Does it really exist? I probably like would have believed it a few years ago. But now that I'm a little older and wiser, I think it makes sense to be more skeptical about things like this. This explains a lot. The domain could well be a myth, but he probably figured he had nothing to lose. If you intend to search for this place, then please allow me to join you. You think maybe the related also looking My for this? My cousin has quite a collection of books about Sumeru desert mythology on his shelves. I highly suspect that mm, he, yeah. too, is looking for that domain. Probably. Can I come too? Coincidence. I think you might need me there. You'll definitely need a local guide while you're in Sumeru. And I, uh, I think I have what it takes to be that person. Plus, it's a forest ranger's duty to bravely lend a helping hand to others in need. We have every confidence in your abilities, Kalei. Okay, that's... Our party I grows bigger everyone and stronger that's still. Going to this area. What say you to this, Captain Klee? I think it's super cool! I read in a storybook that on your own you can only have a drop of happiness, but in a group you have a whole ocean. So I'm sure Mom's friend will be super happy if I show up to visit <laughs> and bring a whole bunch of friends with me. That's the spirit. In that case, let's get the magic invite to take us there. Again? Everyone says the destination out loud. So we're going to the place now. Alright. One person only is not with us. Kokomi. How do we meet her later? Is there anyone else? I think just Kokomi, right? 
Okay, anyway. This is taking a while. I guess we are in the new area then. Um, this desert area looks familiar. Yes, the scenery is quite magnificent. Mm. Are you okay, Yula? You don't look so good. I'm fine. Just taking a moment to acclimatize. <clears throat> the air here is much drier than a Mondstadt. <clears throat> This area doesn't look very habitable, and yeah. <laughs> I don't see a domain entrance nearby either. Oh no. Uh, I didn't pronounce the destination wrong. Did I? I mean, I don't think I did. What was it even called? Nope. You got it right. It definitely wasn't your fault. I said Gundarvaville wrong earlier, but we still ended up in the right place. Yeah. Clee's right. We're in the right place. There's no doubt about that. Phew. Hmm. Maybe the entrance is hidden under a Maybe sand dune. Who knows? We'll just have to start by looking around. Party splits up to search the area, but turns out empty hands. Oh, I'm on so tired and so thirsty. Hmm. We should have found something by now. Unless there's a problem with the magic invite. Hmm. Huh? Uh-oh, did I break it by accident? But I didn't do anything. Dodoko will back me up. I'm innocent. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's definitely not your fault, Klee. See? Not even a wrinkle on it. If the domain is nearby... Hmm, does Mr. Honorary Knight have an idea? Instead of try us trying to find the domain... Ah, Paimon knows where you're going with this. Yeah, find get the domain to find us. How do you mean? Interesting How approach. do I mean? <laughs> Assuming we're right about this magic invite, that is to say, if it was sent from within the domain, the invite likely has some sort of connection to it. Oh, I get it now. Plus, I know a super special trick we can use. Hmm, what kind of trick? Can you teach it to us too? Of course. Mom said that if I ever need help, I just need to shout this out loud. Magic invite, magic invite, Klee needs your aid. Do something now, so Klee's not afraid. Look, something flew over. Oh. A bottle. Huh? It looks like a bottle. Oh, it's in the bottle. Yeah, I can see that uh, it's not like an island shape. Remarkably effective. That's one trick I'll be keeping up my sleeve in the future. You should make a note of it too, Eula. Absolutely not. It's not my style. I suppose bottles are pretty common in Sumerian mythology. So, uh, is this supposed to be the entrance to the domain? A domain? In a bottle? Huh. <laughs> well... If there's one thing we learned in Liyue, it's never judge a domain by its cover. Guess there's one way to find out if this really is the way like in. The Come on, reach out with your hand. Yep, yeah. we're going in. Yep, I knew it. So it's in this box. That's the case, then we don't really need the magic invite to We made it! it. Oh, that answers that question! Where are we now? There's a path! I'm gonna take a look! Hey, don't run off and leave us all behind! M. <laughs> what is this? There's two waypoints to unlock. A wave rider, and I think the rest is not open. 
There is a waypoint here. I can teleport. Okay. Oh, the music. Hold on. We have Eula and Kali. Ready for reconnaissance. Kali is seventy. Everything's ready. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> oh right. One more check before anything. Time to broaden the horizon. Not close enough, hold on. Hey! Does it not work here? I think it doesn't work here. Alright. You know what? Never mind. Just go. For now. Look! Look! There's a huge garden here! Incredible. It looked so small from the outside. Everyone, I suggest that we stop here for a moment. We should take stock of our surroundings before deciding on our next course of action. Since we're in a bottle, has anyone <laughs> heard the story of the magic bottle? Oh, you mean the one about King Destret and the genie in a bottle? I've read it before, but I struggled with some of the vocabulary. <laughs> What's the story about, Kaya? Mom told me a story once about a group of adventurers who went to Bottle Land. But... I don't think there was a magic bottle in that one. I remember the name, Bottle Land. This is where we are. Don't worry, Klee. I can tell you all about the story of the magic bottle. But if you keep running off on your own, you'll miss all the good parts. Oh. Okay. I got it. I'll stay with the group from now on. Hmm. You sense it too, don't you, Kale? Something's not quite right. Yeah. The scenery here is beautiful, but <laughs> it's too quiet. And there's no sign of Klee's yeah. Auntie Desert here anywhere. Maybe Auntie Desert lives way further down Maybe. inside. <laughs> this place is super big, just like Fischl's Immer Nachfrage. Oh, we still have a long Fischl's way to Immer go. Nachfrage. Guess we won't know until we get there. Let's keep going. Hopefully we'll meet her soon. Okay. And now only we start the first part, okay. Let's begin the first part. This waypoint is already open. Huh. Okay. Let me see the map for a while. Valoria Mirage, okay. I see something in the map. It's not visible here. <laughs> okay. I see the shoom bars. I see everything. Oh, what is this? Hold on. Joyx voucher. Uh, hold on. Ah, the event's open already. Um. Oh yeah, that's okay. That's for free, Layla. Part one, part two, part three. 
So there's three parts in the story, okay. So far that's all. And a challenge. Oh, I can hear the... <laughs> the Sumeru instrument. Um... Oh, you sir, damn it, I switched call you. Oh! And I don't have a healer. Uh, three. Wait. Ow. Um. I should just focus on the story. <laughs> I don't think I can make it. <coughs> Why am I going here? It looks like no one set foot on this road for quite some time. I agree. And the further we get, the more Wrong way. Like this place is a whole lot bigger than we imagined. Hey, there's something strange up ahead. Let's check it out. Okay, wrong way. I think I was supposed to go another way by when <laughs> because of the event. Never mind, I don't have to worry about that. I'll do that later. Uh Nahida, I don't think she can check anything here, so... If you're not sure what to do next, how about... I'll just switch out back to Kale then. For now. Everything's ready! Let's go! I'm supposed to go down there. There's a chest. I'll do that later as well. Um... Okay, what is this? Wow, it's a big ball of water. I wonder what it feels like. Can I touch it? It's so big that we could probably pass straight through it. Hmm? And that was the last we. <laughs> what the hell was this? Watch out, you might get gobbled up by the water ball monster. Let's not touch it for now. We still don't know enough about our environment. But we can't just do nothing at all because then nothing at all will happen. Exactly. <laughs> mm. I have a feeling that this could be the core that sustains this entire bottle domain. In which case, the moment we touch it, this place will instantly revert to its original size, with all of us still inside. Yikes! Okay, okay, Pino won't touch it. Kaya, are we really gonna get squished inside a bottle? Of course not, Klee. I'm sure the real core of this domain is hidden away in a very safe place. It wouldn't be too obvious right here. Somewhere like... <laughs> over there, for example. Maybe. Uh, I was so nervous that I didn't notice that big wheel at all. That's the big wheel we saw from the bottle. Who goes there? Oh. A water creature? It's... It's the water ball monster! <laughs> <laughs> the water ball monster is real! Gurgle. It doesn't seem hostile. In fact, don't think it looks happy to see us. Really? Uh, <laughs> you sure it's not gonna gobble up by my hole? I don't think it's hungry. Are you water droplet? Water droplet. Oh dear. I don't know about anyone else, but I'm not understanding a word of this. Oh. Wait! Don't go! Wait for us! Leading is, I guess. Why it stop? Maybe you can understand us after all. Oh, I get it yeah. now. It's leading the way for us. Just like the cats and Mondstadt. The cats? Like the cats? How so? When you're walking around in Mondstadt City, 
Sometimes a cat will show up on the side of the road. It'll walk ahead of you for a while, and if you're curious enough to follow it, the you'll soon too. find yourself in front of a fine establishment called... Exactly. <laughs> so let's see where this water droplet takes us. It could be interesting. Alright. Let me see what this is. Nothing. Okay. Let's try and interact with it. Uh, let's go down here. And what can we do here? Oh, that will help. Okay. And what about this? Challenge of the victor. Uh, teeth. <laughs> so I guess we go down. It went this way, right? Oh, hope we haven't lost it. No, we haven't. Did the water droplet go into that cave? What is this? We saw earlier. So it's a kind of switch then. Did the water droplet bring us here because it wants our help with something? What? Your friend is trapped in the wall. Do you understand? Don't be sad, water droplet. We're here now. We'll save your friend. You bet. But how are we gonna save them? Do we have to break down this wall somehow? Must be this thing then. <laughs> hmm. Do we need to find a key of some sort then? Oh. Oh no! Where'd it go? It went in and Look, the device has lit up. And it's projecting images onto the wall. It's a projector. No, not this thing. <laughs> okay. Uh the the thingy. Oh. A two-dimensional space with objects of the same composition as the device nested inside. This is part of the puzzle that we need yep, to be doing. What Kaya said, and that's where its friend is. But how exactly do we enter the image on the wall? The the thing maybe. Maybe. Yeah. We just copy what the water droplet did. Hmm. But what does that mean? Hold on, I think Klee's on to something. Since the water droplet appears to be the key that activated the mechanism, we may be able to follow it inside simply by touching the device. The principle is no different than how we entered this bottle domain. Fair enough. Okay, deep breath, then head in. Okay, it's actually a puzzle made in this area. Uh... Get close to the streaming projector to enter the preprint. Within the preprints, you can interact with objects or operate key mechanisms. <laughs> 2D Genshin now. Changing some objects outside will affect. Okay, it makes sense. You can leave at any time during your exploration. The changes you cause will not be affected. So, let's see. Um, where do we go actually? Where do we go in now? Okay, we are the travelers too, no matter what. <laughs> so, I jump with left, right. There's no up and down. Jump, jump and right. Oh. <laughs> Just when I thought I was trying to get used to the laptop movement, I had to get used to this. Uh, yeah. Move the box. We move it to 
the end I assume Aha! The box on the wall feels cute! Okay Let me go back in okay. Chest inside Wow! Another water droplet just came out from the wall! That's the water droplet, okay I thought we get the chest here yeah. <laughs> So I assume that's the other... Wait, this is what then? Oh, that's to get out, okay. Oh, that's the chest with Primo Gems, okay. Sure. <laughs> Alright. That's, it was a, that's a thing, yeah. pancake in there, but as soon as it came out, it turned all plump and round! <laughs> Guess it makes sense that the water droplet's friend is also a water droplet. Was a huge help. Traveler, how do you feel after entering that two-dimensional space? Any physical side effects? <laughs> the pain I've been squ squished flat like a traveler piece. <laughs> uh, I want to hear what happens if I say this. <sighs> Quit while you're behind. You're clearly fine. <laughs> well, I'm just glad that you're okay. Good thing you was here to look out for everyone. Can't say the same for you though, Kaya. You're pretty quick to send the traveler inside. Hey now, I only suggested that because I was confident that the traveler would be fine. Water droplet? Is there anyone else here besides you and your friend? Yep, you know, anyone who looks like me or my friends. Hopefully this is a good sign! Amazing! Come on, let's follow it! Okay, now we know what those things are. Okay. Just for the puzzle. <laughs> We're well, only travelers uh, inside. I can't imagine if that's a uh, fountain. Can <laughs> oh boy. Don't need to summon it yet. Uh, something's off. What is this? Wait, what? <laughs> what? That's a thing, okay. There's another one of those, but I don't want to worry about that right now. A lot of the water stuff. It looks like there might be a town up ahead. Huh. Maybe more people live in this domain than we thought. More want. water droplets. Maybe. And maybe that's where Auntie Desert lives. Um. That's not an enemy. Looks like one of the ocean enemies. <laughs> um, I do not want to get close. So wait, where is the? <laughs> okay. And we're here. Itia, the situation Itia. is now critical. Her window of opportunity to fix this is rapidly closing. Who's this? I'm sure you've noticed just how much things have deteriorated in recent days. Wait, that sounds like Kokomi. Right? But, but even so. But why is she here already? 
This is your home. Is Kokomi. Are you really going to let everything fall to pieces? Your home? I... Well, I live here, but it doesn't actually belong to me. Is she the friend? Huh? Paimon knows yeah. that voice. What's... Someone we know is Kokomi, what, but why is she here? Anyone else who comes into this domain in the future will take one look at the ruins before them and conclude that this place was abandoned years ago. But just imagine how different things could be if you maintain this domain in perfect condition. Whoever sets foot inside would witness a magical wonderland. How miraculous it would feel to them to find such unimaginable beauty in the middle of a lifeless desert. Oh, you're right, General. Truly, but... Act now while you still can. General you have to stand up to this and break free from your despair. But why is she here? The most important <laughs> thing is to have no regrets in the end. Hmm. Well, no one chooses to have regrets, do they? But I take your point. I'll try my best to stop running away. But the question remains of where to begin. <laughs> Is it Mr. Honorary Knight's friend from a faraway land? What's this land? music? A divine priestess? What's that? <gasps> is it a kind of mage? This is gonna be... <laughs> what are you doing here? Huh? We have new visitors? Greetings, everyone! This is the Valurium Mirage, and I'm the caretaker, Adia. I'm so sorry that you have to see this domain in its current state of disarray. We are actively working on repairs, and everything will be back to normal shortly. Um, I hope. Greetings, everyone. I guess I should introduce myself, too. <laughs> it's alright. Just leave the introductions to me. Uh, I kind of wanted to say hello in my own way. But no harm done. I guess I'll let her do the honors. This lady is a visitor to the domain, just like yourselves. Oh, she's she a visitor. She is a formidable military general. Oh. How did she come here? <laughs> Have any of you heard of Inazuma's Onmyo Chamber? The... Uh... What chamber? Onmyo Chamber. It's an elite training academy for gifted students of Onmyodo. Practitioners are divided into four classes, A through D, and assigned the power of Shikigami based on their mastery of the art. Uh... Wait... This lady famously led the class D underdogs to victory against the class A favorites in the final mock campaign before graduation. An astonishing feat that few in the history of the academy have ever achieved. Hence, formidable general is no exaggeration. Isn't that right, General? Uh, what's wrong? Uh, <laughs> huh? Wait, so the favorites were beaten by the classy underdogs? Uh, Paimon's not completely following. They're not following as well, what's going on? Is this a... Yeah, <laughs> I was wondering. Just a light novel. Oh, okay. That doesn't sound like the divine priestess Mr. Honorary Knight was talking about. Uh oh. Did she just get caught lying in front of someone she was trying to impress? Or maybe she uses a different identity in her private life and this is the first time her friends are learning about it. Uh huh. It seems kind of embarrassing, but also kind of cool. I guess having someone else to introduce you was a good way to make an impression. Hmm. Maybe I'd fit in better with everyone if I had a title too. <clears throat> Some people call me a general, but it's just their way of showing respect. My actual name is Sangonomiya Kokomi. Huh? Oh no. Sorry, my mistake, General. Uh, I mean, Miss Sangonomiya. <laughs> call me whatever you like, Idia. <laughs> the only important thing about names is knowing who's who. Oh, I get it now. It's like that story that Mom told me that time. Klee can explain. So basically, in the story, a big group of people go on an adventure to Fatherland. One of them's called the King, and some of them are called Knights. So, Miss Sangonomiya must be the super smart one who solves all the problems in the story. Uh... What's that one called again? Perhaps a sage? 
Indeed. Wisdom is an important attribute found in military generals. Okay, well, I'll just call you that. Sage. <laughs> Miss General it is. Miss General. <laughs> Fine by me. Sounds really cute, coming from you. <laughs> At least, cuter than my pen name, that's for sure. Well then, how should I address the rest of you? Comrade in arms and this if we got to old friend. <laughs> How could I ever forget you? But what about these esteemed ladies and gentlemen accompanying you? I'd be delighted if you could introduce me to them too. Wait! Klee wants a title too! Mm. Okay, got it! Klee wants to be a mage! The kind that flies around everywhere! Da da da! Whoosh! Kaya can be the master thief. Mr. Honorary Knight can be... And Paimon will be the fairy who follows the knight everywhere. Another line there. Master thief, huh? <laughs> I did like playing pirates as a child, so I suppose this is an apt role for me. And I must admit, the master part is a nice touch. <laughs> uh, hold on a second. What about Are you, you saying the position of knight is now filled? You can be the sword master who can cut through Thing, and also gets to wear a super sparkly cape. <laughs> That's more like it. And um, Kale can be um the healer. The Kale doesn't heal though. <laughs> but uh, if you want to be the knight, we can swap. Uh, no, no, I don't mind. Healer is a great role. I just don't know if I'm qualified to be one. Whenever I'm thinking of titles for myself. I usually imagine myself as an adventurer or musician. <laughs> I never thought I could be a healer. I mean, it feels like it should be Master Tainari's role, if anyone's. <laughs> Tainari doesn't heal too. Don't worry, Kali. You'll be the bestest healer ever. You don't talk much, but you're very kind, just like the healers in Mom's stories. You'll do fine. I heard you're good with bandages. You can patch up a wound, can't you? Uh, I can pitch a tent. Maybe you heard wrong? <laughs> but I'll do my best. It's my first day filling in for Master Tainari, but hopefully it's the first of many. This is a great idea. Uh, once a new visitor arrives, they can assume a new identity, <laughs> then add in some role-playing. Oh, we can't leave you out, Miss Adia. Lots of characters in Mom's stories, but you don't remind me of any of them. That's perfectly okay. I already have a role here anyway, remember? I'm the caretaker. I got it! I got it! This wasn't in any of the stories, but you can be the mascot. Mascot? Klee, maybe you could think up an even <laughs> better role for Miss Adia. A mascot, you say? Isn't that a character that doesn't have to actually do anything and sits around letting everyone else do all the important work? Incredible. You've seen right through me. <laughs> Sounds like the idea of being lazy is pretty <laughs> exciting to her. The mascot serves to maintain troop morale, Idea. Don't underestimate your role. Ah, oh, alright. I'll be the mascot then. The water droplets? That's right! Thank you for bringing these new friends here safely. You can go off and play now. Thanks, Water Droplet! See ya! <laughs> huh? Water Droplet? Is that your pet name for it? <laughs> I suppose it's as accurate a nickname as any. We keep getting sidetracked. But I believe you were saying something about being in a difficult predicament. Is something wrong with the Valeria Mirage? Oh, yes. About that. Uh -huh. I'm afraid the entire domain has recently sustained some significant damage. It was as if the whole world was suddenly flipped upside down. A few components went missing from the core, which sustains the domain, and the impact cascaded out from there. Upside down? Needless to say, many things in the Valeria Mirage have now stopped working. Just days after I agreed to let my friend's daughter come and visit, too. When she gets here and sees the state this place is in... Well, <laughs> I guess we know. <laughs> yeah, correct. Idia is the one supposed to meet 
and their friend's daughters right here. Oh, so your mom's friend? <laughs> Auntie Hi, Desert. Auntie Desert. I'm Clee. Here, I brought the magic invite, see? Huh? Wait, <laughs> so you're... you're... Look how dilated her pupils are. She must be very surprised. Yeah, and uh, not in a good way. Mom's the one who sent me here. She's the strongest mage ever. She said that her friend lives in the desert. You live in the desert, so that must be you. Auntie desert. Right, Auntie Desert? Ah, I see. So being a mage runs in the family. Ah, you're... Hide there until this all blows over. See you all in a hundred years. Idea's really going through it. She's like a shriveled little forest fungus, hanging its head in shame. Kale? That's a harsh analogy. Where'd all that come from? Don't worry, Auntie Desert. Please here to help you. And all my friends will help too. Just take a deep breath. And then another deep breath. And all your worries will fly away. Yeah, don't you worry. Sir fix a lot over here has a good track Fix-a-Lot. record with this kind of thing. Well, I'm useless. But it looks like that won't matter with all you capable people around. Fantastic. Don't put yourself down, Adia. You're great, too. Thanks for your encouragement. Anyway, for the time being, please talk amongst yourselves. That'll give me some time to think things through and maybe make a start on, um, delegating. <laughs> okay. Talk to everyone. Let me try this one more time. <sighs> if it still doesn't work... There are still so many places... Then this doesn't count as Sumeru. Hey! Yeah, but that's a good. Okay. So because we're in a bottle, Nahida's skill doesn't work. Trainee Forest Ranger Kale. Right. Nice. Oh, call me, I don't have. So. <laughs> uh, talk to everyone. One there. Where's the other? Oh, they're there. Okay. Hi, Miss General. Mr. Honorary Knight says that you're from Watatsumi Island. What's it like there? There must be loads of fish, right? Um... Wait! You look kinda like a mermaid. Are there fish in your family? Oh, <laughs> sorry to disappoint you, Miss Mage. But I'm just an ordinary human. I have lots of great stories about Watatsumi Island, though. Come on, let's enjoy the scenery while I tell you all about it. Uh huh. Okay, that's one. La la la. Kale and Kaya. Feeling nervous, Kale? Well, it's your first time as a guide, after all. Hmm. Oh, no. <laughs> Not at all. I'm just, uh, still settling into the role. So I was thinking about how to talk more like Master Tainari. Well, the easiest way to imitate someone is to start with their most common turns of phrase. Oh, okay. In that case, uh, <clears throat> put that mushroom down. <sighs> now, it's highly poisonous. <laughs> there you go. With just a few simple words, you've captured your master's personality perfectly. Anyway, what about your role? Don't you mind being the master thief? It doesn't sound like you're one of the good guys. <laughs> Maybe not. Until you factor in that I only steal from the enemy. I think that's enough to make me one of the good guys. Well, Don't you? Oh! Like a Robin uh, Hood. Fair point, fair point. Okay, and the last one, Yula and... 
What's the name? Edia. Yeah, Edia. Huh? Who else has visited the Valuria Mirage recently? Uh, oh, there was shit. someone from the academia who came not long ago. A Kasharawar scholar. Blonde hair. Architect, I think. Kasharawar scholar? Then it cannot be. He was a huge help and redesigned many of the buildings here. Although he was always grumbling to himself, he was Wait. extremely diligent in his work. Ah, <sighs> what a kind person. It's not Kavi, isn't it? There's no way. I could tell that was a sensitive soul. A lot oh, like me. Uh, sorry. Please pretend you didn't hear that. <clears throat> I'm of course a very strong and resilient person. After him, an aristocrat from Mondstadt showed up. Oh shit. Then the gen... I mean, Miss Sangonomia. An aristocrat from Mondstadt showed up? So yes, there was. Unfortunately, everything here suddenly started changing before I had the chance to be a good host and show them around. Do you know where the Mondstadt aristocrat is now? If I remember correctly, he headed north after the incident. It's a pity we're having all these issues. Oh, if we could get everything working normally again, I could probably locate him in an instant. Still, not to worry. There's nothing dangerous here. So he is here. Hmm. Huh. Hey, Idea! You got an update for us? We've all caught up with each other. Very well. Then please allow me, Idea, your mascot, to explain exactly what's happened here. <laughs> mascot rule. Basically, this entire domain is powered by a device called the Central Hub, which you all saw earlier. But following a major incident, several key components from the Central Hub came loose and went flying. Four components, I believe, which has caused the central hub to stop turning. What does the central hub actually do? Oh, so that thing's supposed to spin? Yes, it definitely shouldn't be frozen still like it is now. Okay. At least, that's not how it was when I first got here. Oh, I've done such a terrible job of taking care of it, it's so embarrassing. Hey, everything's gonna be okay. Hmm. So, we need to fix the big wheel up there, and to do that, we need to find the missing parts. Right. I do know where one of the parts is. Okay. It landed not too far away, but the rest all landed in different areas. I'm afraid you'll have to go and look for those. <clears throat> now, as the caretaker and your mascot, I shall announce your respective adventure duties. Um, you can just be yourself if you want. No need to force the whole role-playing thing. <laughs> oh, I see. Um, okay, so I was thinking that maybe Swordmaster Eula and Healer Kale could investigate the Northern Zone, if that's okay? Fine by me. I was going to be looking for my cousin there anyway. I'll be your backup, Eula. I know you usually team up with Amber, so <laughs> I'll try my best to fill her shoes. Oh? Well, this'll be fun. Let's see if a forest ranger can outperform an outrider. Master Thief Kaya and Mage Klee, if you could earmark some time in your busy schedules to search the West Zone. Earmark? What does that mean? It just means we mustn't forget to do it. Don't worry. We can handle that. So everyone Finally, goes Finally, we have our general, Miss Sangonomia, and our knight, the Traveler. If there's no objections, please come with me to retrieve the first component. Okay. So we're getting... <laughs> you have my sword. Wow! Spoken like a true knight! <laughs> then, for my part, my strategic mind is at your service. Alright, well, if anyone finds anything, come back here and we'll regroup. Please take care while you're out on the road and look after each other. Especially our little mage here. You got it! I'll take extra special care of Kaya. I'll be on my best behavior. <laughs> uh, okay, we'll leave it there for now. You two, please follow me. I remember seeing it just behind the central hub. So, how come you didn't bring it back when you first saw it? <laughs> I'd have been more than happy to, if this one component was enough to fix the whole domain. But with three other components to find... 
Oh, I suddenly felt overwhelmed by how much work needed doing. Hmm, Paimon kind of gets that. Taking the first step is always the hardest part. Okay, since we all split thing up... But I don't have Kokomi. Never mind. <laughs> Ta -ta -ta. We can uh tea. Not close enough. There we go. Keep heading. Allah, there was this thing. <laughs> uh, whatever. Wait, how big is this map? Oh, there's more. There's three more areas. I think there's one part for each. But I missed out a waypoint. Yeah? Keep heading towards the first component's location. Are we going to the new area? Or oh, is it out of bounds? Yeah, it's out of bounds. What will will Paimon say something if we go here? Let me see. This one. Yeah. How about we explore the area ahead of us later? All right, fine. This this one try. <laughs> Why bother climbing up here? Oh, okay, let's do that. Tea! Ah. Tea! Press the damn tea. But I pressed tea! Press the wrong key. Allah! I was pressing R. <laughs> no wonder I didn't. Ah, whatever. Um, hydro. Uh, I don't have to call me. I'll use my usual team. What is this for? Oh! Is there another one? Oh, it's probably there. Down in Watatsumi Island for now, so I thought I'd take the chance to get out and see more of the world. Traveled a pretty long way. Why Sumeru? Oh, I figured that I needed to venture further than usual to really broaden my horizons. Well, that's one reason, anyway. I can explain in more detail another time. All right. What the? Oh, there's a joy expulsion in every chest. Oh boy. Okay. Um. Shine down. Oh, we are going to the second waypoint. Yeah, the point's up here, okay. Um... 
Let <laughs> me not worry about that. Alright, that's all of them. Now, where are we going? wondering oh, but where's the component in this there's nothing here oh where could it be in the wall oh it's that lamp thingy right water droplet showed us how that works already uh yes uh, <laughs> that's the one there goes my big introduction so the water doctor already spoiled this showing people the ropes is supposed to be my job oh i can't believe i'm being shown up by a hydro idolon Idolon? Cheer up, Idea. <laughs> the Hydro Idolon can give a basic demonstration of how to use things, but beyond that, it can't communicate. Well, with Klee, can. That's where you come in. Your descriptions can explain everything in full, vivid detail. Paimon forgot how persuasive Kokomi can be when she really wants to. <laughs> hmm. Sometimes having a genius strategist around really comes in handy. Oh, well, if you put it that way, <laughs> well then, just pretend like you've never seen it before, and I'll tell you all about it. <laughs> this is called the Streaming Projector. Streaming Everything projector. here in it the Valurium Mirage was made using this device. All you need to do is place an item in the projector, and you can construct a corresponding item based on the shape of the original and your imagination. Place an item and can construct a corresponding item based at least, I think that's what it used to do. With the domain in its current state, only its most basic functions are still operable. Okay, not quite that basic. At the moment, it's only able to show two-dimensional objects. I call them preprints. <laughs> think of it like a sort of draft or blueprint or something. So you're saying the component fell into the preprints? <laughs> yes, exactly. I'll leave you to go in and physically retrieve it. Well, I, um, I'll be out here <laughs> rooting for you what? by, uh, by doing a motivational dance! Really? No. Sorry. I feel like I have two left feet when I try to dance. I guess I'll just find a place nearby to sit <laughs> and wait patiently for you. Hey, come on! Cheer up! We'll handle everything from here! Okay, enter the preprint, but let me move stuff first. I think we have to move something. So I assume we go in from from here. So we move this and move this. God damn it! <laughs> wrong, wrong one. Oh, this music. <laughs> Look like the component is in here. Probably down here. Should be. Let's get out of this. Have to move that box. I was gonna move this box, but then. There we go. Oh, the music changed. Yes, that's the one. Now okay. you just need to bring it back out. Okay. What is this thing anyway? Some kind of gear? Hmm. And why is it so small? It doesn't look like it belongs in that huge wheel. It's hard to explain, but I assure you that it's definitely one of the components. So that leaves three more components missing. Every journey begins with a first step. Unless that small I think we're off to a good start. Later. And things should keep going smoothly from here. You... you really think so? 
I suppose you're right. She did manage to defeat Class A at the Omeo Chamber, after all. Um, you, uh, <laughs> you don't need to keep bringing that up. Anyway, thank you for all your help. I'll take this and start trying to repair the central hub. You two may as well head back to town. Oh, why am I so clumsy? Once again, I was no help at all. The least I can do is try and handle the actual repairs. Return to the silver bottle courtyard. So I guess we teleport back. <laughs> right. More speed. I assume this is the end of part hmm. one, or is there more? What's wrong, Kokomi? Uh, I'm just a little confused. You mentioned that the water droplet showed you how to use the projector? Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? I'm so curious to know what happened. Oh, sure! Why? I see. Oh. What hey, happened? Look! Um, is it actually spinning? Oh, and now it's stopped again! Ah. Well, that didn't last long. It also wasn't spinning at the right speed. Before the incident, it spun much faster than that. Oh, so you saw it back when it was still working? Oh, yes, I arrived here a little earlier than the rest of you. But the incident took place not long after I entered. Like Idea said, it felt like the world was flipped upside down. Hmm. Well, I don't know how else to describe it. And I certainly don't want to experience it again. Flipped upside down. Why does that happen? Did we flip the bottle upside down or something? No, it's no use. Uh, seems it won't run until all the missing components are returned. For a moment there, when it started turning, I got excited. I thought that maybe the hub can work just fine without the other three. Wishful thinking is only <laughs> going to lead to disappointment, Idea. Let's stick to the plan. We'll get there. Hey, Mr. Honorary Knight and Miss General are here. Oh, and our mascot! You beat us! I was sure we were going to be the first ones back. Wait, so everyone found the parts already? Hey, how'd it go? <laughs> Mission complete. Well, night saw it goes three, three soon for us. <laughs> Impressive. I doubt you'd find many other knights of such caliber even among the knights of Favonius. How about our master thief and mage? Did you find anything? You bet! We made a huge discovery! I miss found it? The place we were trying to get to was blocked off. We couldn't see anything past it, and there was no way around. But then, just now, a huge canyon appeared out of nowhere, so we hurried back here. A huge canyon appeared? Huh? It appeared just now? Hmm. Come and see, Mr. Honorary Knight. Let's go on a canyon adventure. To the canyon. I'll sit this one out. I'm beat after trying to make those repairs. I need to take a break. Miss General, you should come too. You can hide behind me and give me smart advice while I protect you. Wonderful. It would be an honor to serve as advisor for our young mage. <laughs> Let's go! So I assume that is the next day. Are we going there now? Wait, still? Oh, okay, it's still not over. Wait, this is the part one, right? Alright. I guess we're still in this area, I think. Yeah, we got... No. This is another area open. 
Wait, this is still part one, right? I thought for sure this is part two now. We're opening this area right now. And this is on the ground. Okay. <laughs> I did not think that was I thought that was it. We keep going then. But for sure we'll take one hour. This is gonna be long I guess. Where are we going? The thing that that was there. Oh, some metal music. Before the canyon appeared, I heard a faint sound, like something mechanical turning. So, yeah, it is the first, the one piece that was placed in to trigger this. Could it have been the central hub? Hmm. Hmm. That would mean this canyon appeared after it started spinning. Hey, you, uh. uh? Oh. New guys, huh? Wait. Just like... Oh, hey! Lyman didn't realize anyone else besides Dio lived here. Is this the... No, it can't be the Lawrence guy. You actually saw her? <laughs> She's barely shown her face since everything started falling apart here. Uh, Who's this thing? Excuse me for asking, but... Who are you? Oh, right. I didn't introduce Ferdinand. myself. I'm Ferdinand. Me and my brothers look after this whole zone. Well, Look we after. used to, until this whole domain was, like, flipped upside down, or whatever. <laughs> the method we were using to make the carts and tracks stopped working after that. Method we were using to make the carts? Oh yeah, we... Carts and tracks. We haven't seen that thing yet. Idea is working on repairing the domain. We were just with her before coming here. Really? Huh. I assume that she'd be curled up in a fetal position somewhere, hoping <laughs> all her problems will magically disappear on their own. Good for her. Anyway, I checked all the stations around the whole circuit. They've all conked okay, out. This is not this is not one of uh, the Eula guy. So Conked no. out? How? Would you mind elaborating a little for us? Uh, but aren't you just travelers who stumbled upon this place by accident? Actually, yes, but... Not I'm Mage Klee, Idea's helper. A mage? You? <laughs> Allow me to explain. <laughs> okay, I gotcha. Well, right now the more helpers we got, the better, I guess. Anyway, our first priority is to get the cards here up and running again. Oh? And why is that? The roads here twist and turn so much that the best way to get around is by riding the rail tracks instead. Ah. Let Real me show tracks, you. Huh? This is what we used to make them. Did Dia bring you up to speed on these things? Yes, but that was just for the 2D wall. Yep. Basically, we need something that we can put inside that'll make a card for us. Oh. Like what? Can it be anything as long as it looks like a card? Yeah, you could put it that way. But one other thing is that it has to be compatible with the tracks. So. Something like a sedan chair, maybe? Mm. But I'm not sure we have all the materials required to build one of those. How about you, Traveler? Any ideas? Oop, I'm on it. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Just a basic wooden cart, a castle with lit. What? Wood's no good. A rickety wooden car would be too dangerous. Okay. Really? Hey everyone, come and see what Klee made. Eh? Ta-da! Look! I made a cart! Bruh, 
He just made it already. Wow! Amazing work, Clee! Wait, what did she use? Whoa! It fits a track like a glove, too. Plus, it's a heck of a lot cuter than the ones Adia made. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to give it a try, and suddenly, boom! There it was! Paimon's gotta ask, what exactly did you make your car from, Clee? Her explosives? I used Jumpy Dumpy! <coughs> uh -huh. Of course. Thought so. Hmm. Is there a problem or something? If not, then let's get ready to leave. It's just... This car is made from... Um... It's a bomb or something, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I gathered from your conversation that <laughs> Jumpy Dumpty is a little more volatile than the cute name suggests. <laughs> it's okay, though. Because the end product only takes on the general look of the source material. Uh, so to be more specific, while different materials have different properties, most of them aren't transferred to... Uh... It's okay! okay no need to it. delve into the theoretical stuff. Paimon just wanted to make sure we aren't about to end up like the, uh... Flying fish of <laughs> Starfell Lake. Huh? Oh... <laughs> right. Kokomi doesn't understand about the fish. Can we ride the cart now? Yes. In yes. a moment, we need a Hydro Idolin to power it up first. Ah, they powered it up. Okay, she's ready to roll. Hop in. So you need them to power up the... Let's see, uh, where does this go actually? Ah, the green lines. The green lines are the... The... the, the oh, we'll go underground then. Right, we're going underground and then... Where do we go after this? I think we, we're just going straight, right? Just nothing to do with this thing it's then we're going all the way until wow there's so many colors here there's green red yellow so i think we have to, we'll stop here so there's <coughs> a lot of them <laughs> okay this is gonna be interesting <coughs> These bombs, so heavy! Let's go! Choo choo cut. A split into lock and unlock states. You can only summon choo choo cuts and unlock platforms. Okay. The first time a choo choo cut in operation reaches a lock cut platform, that cut platform will be unlocked. When already activated, it will not not stop and will continue on here. Um. Okay. Not sure I get it, but let's go. Q and P. What is that? Oh. Okay. <laughs> the music. So anything on the left side? Oh, I guess. This card is fast. Check it, check it, check it, check it. Woo! Woo! Yeah. <laughs> I need to call it the Choo Choo card. Can I do this? Nope. Okay, we stop here then. We went. Oh, we stop until here, only. Okay, okay. <coughs> Now it's... Is it locked? It is like this. I think that's, that means it's locked now. The track is damaged up ahead. We oh. need to make some repairs before we can go any further. Yep, looks like it's all reverted to a preprint state here. Do you know why that happened? Everything in this domain starts as a preprint and only takes shape after being illuminated by the streaming projector. Oh. But the Hydro Idolon that forms the tracks here has been trapped in the print. So someone needs to go into the preprint and rescue the Hydro Idolon, right? But the projector here is sealed off by a giant bubble! That's why the Hydro Idolon is here. That's the Hydro Idolon's way of protecting the device from damage. If the streaming projector broke, then we'd be seriously stuck. Okay. Uh -huh. 
So for step one, we need water droplet to help. Ah. <laughs> um, any volunteers for step two? Leave that to us. We know what to do. Move the puzzles first. The whatever. Okay, two chests. Three chests, actually. Three this. One, two, three. Can go from the top. Let's check this one. Ah, so the hydroidol was locked oh, up in the chest. Oh, found him already. <laughs> I was expecting at the top. Oh, there's two of them. Okay, I thought there was one. There's two. So they will fix it. Whoa! Water droplet just transformed into some new tracks! Good! Let's keep going then. Yeah, it requires the power of a hydro I don't want to operate. When they enter the tissue card and its windows will light up, then you can enter. Change direction. Oh, you can change direction. Okay. La la la. Oh, that's a lot to explore later. <laughs> Alright. This is the way, right? Yeah. Q and E. Oh shit! Uh, that was on. Um, that was just. I was just testing that. Okay. Left, right, left, right, right, left, left, right. You can press both. Okay. <laughs> Good thing I pressed that. No, no. The Hydroidolans are like helpers here. As for my brothers, well... <sighs> those two. You'll meet them soon. Oh, that was good. Okay, I got everyone. Every... every of those. All 85. <laughs> Riding ahead, we can keep going. Uh, when the Chuchu card process tracks where you can switch lines, press that button that appears to switch. Oh, a oh, uh, lane, lane, switch lanes. How do you switch in space? No, space pass to click. Oh, we will kill. Oh, left click. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> I have to left click. Alright. Ah, oh, this is the one we saw. Look, So left click, hold on. Oh, okay, but what does that do? Uh, left click. And now we can. Seems we've just about finished repairing the station and the connecting tracks. Let's go check the track switcher now. It's over there. Where? Over there. What do we have here? Guess I'll find out later on. Or do we need to read 
train again. I feel like we are supposed to use the train again. Oh no, there isn't any more tracks. Can you look at the map real quick? We are here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I missed this now. I can't uh, destroy it here. Okay, we can't. Yeah! I'm pretty sure I was supposed to write. Uh, but I don't know which one. What the hell? <laughs> oh, maybe I should have. Wait, it's, it's a red color. Or maybe I have to. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Queen was a brave girl today. I found a red. Okay, let's just. Oh, there's another spinny thing here. It's so big, but uh, not as big as the one we saw in the middle of this place. That one was huge. I bet it's something super important. I remember what Kaya said earlier. Very good, Klee. You're using what you saw mm -hmm. earlier to make observations, like a real adventurer. Hmm. It appears to be a system that rotates to switch tracks. That's right. Originally, all you had to do was flip this switch and the junction would rotate. Hmm. But it seems Jeremy still hasn't fixed it yet. Jeremy. He sure talks big, but when it comes to actually getting things done... Is this Jeremy you mentioned one of your brothers? Yeah. When I talked to him about repairing the tracks, I suggested we start with the station. But he said we should start at the junction. Really, it made no difference which one we started with. But he just had to turn it into a huge argument. He always treats me like I'm a fool and disagrees with anything I say. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see what he has to say now that I've already fixed the tracks. Well, if you ask me, you're clearly a sharp person, Ferdinand. Yes! Finally someone who can recognize that, rather than just shrugging off my ideas. Come on, let's make our way to the junction and see what he's up to. I bet he's still fretting over what to do. And now this thing appears. Fight the cut to look for the shadow man. Uh, I'm guessing it's a buff. So we we bought this. Is it? Wait, let me see this. After the Chuchu card uses jubilant waves or its own body to crash into and break tricks or foods, you will obtain track layer stones. Three at any given time. When you pass. A track layer ring while carrying three stones, a two new Chuchu card tracks, and a track changer blossom. Do you want to come fish blasting with me? Cerulean for above, amber flower heading to the torrential twister in the southeast. So the colors uh, is showing where, where the, each place is. Okay. Oh, uh. Sometimes I can't help but get angry just thinking of Jerry. Ah, I you see. should have seen him back in the sandstorm. I suggested we go east, and he argued that we should go west. That's it. That's it. We separated and each went our own way. Lucky for us, we stumbled across this domain. Otherwise, I'm sure we would have been buried ah, in the sand. Is. is this your brother? <sighs> Everything will get better once we get the switcher working again. <laughs> hmm. Still stuck here just as I expected. Well, did you make any progress? Didn't I already tell you? Just have the Hydroidolans fix the junction and then make a new cart. 
After that, we can use the junction to... Wait a minute, how did you get here? It took a lot of effort for me to climb all the way up here. <laughs> the answer is standing right in front of you. <laughs> yeah, sure. Those travelers must have helped you. You never get anything done on your own. You always get someone else's help and then try to take the credit for yourself. You're one to talk. What have you managed to accomplish, huh? You were here just moping around all day. Wow. They started arguing the moment they saw each other. But aren't they supposed to be brothers? <laughs> Me? His brother? <laughs> Hardly. <sighs> all right, Jeremy. That's enough. <sighs> Fine. I'd rather be focusing my efforts on fixing the track switch rather than arguing anyway. You should calm down too, Ferdinand. Let's all focus on the situation at hand. Any personal problems can be settled <laughs> later. Fine. I'm sorry you had to see that. My name's Jeremy. I'm one of the people responsible for taking care of this area. I assume you're the ones who helped repair the tracks. Thank you very much. It means a lot. No need to thank us. We're just trying to help Idea restore the domain. Okay. I see. Now that you and Ferdinand brought the cart up here, we'll need the Hydroidolans to fix the area below. Then again, huh? Seems the Hydroidolans yeah. are really important around this place. Yes, of course. Not only do they keep the junction turning, they operate practically everything else in the domain, too. Is that water? Seems most of the tracks and junctions have been repaired now. Yep. So maybe it's time you give credit where credit is due, hmm? What? You think you deserve the credit? If anything, we should be thanking these travelers. Uh, you? Well, either way, you're not the one getting any credit. You're always quick to criticize my ideas and push That's your own, it. but you never actually get anything done. And what about you? Don't forget it was Hado and I who took care of the mess that one time uh, you nope. impulsively tried one of your brilliant ideas. Uh, speaking of Hado, wasn't he with you? I left early this morning. I assumed he'd be with you. Seriously? <laughs> oh, Couldn't boy. you have at least looked to see where he was before you left? Please not happy with this. Hey, come on! You didn't see him either, so what's your excuse? Clee? I don't get it. Nobody did anything bad. Why are they arguing? I... Uh, I just don't like his smug attitude, that's all. Who are you calling smug? If anything, you're the one who's making such a big fuss right now. Mm. All right, I think we've heard enough from you two. If you insist on bickering, then I'd suggest you go somewhere else. Otherwise, I'll just cool you two off myself. Cool you two off. Now, come with me. I'd like to have a word with you. Here. Don't be upset, Klee. There are many complicated situations in this world which don't always have a logical explanation. As a passing traveler here, it's not my place to comment on their disputes. But in my experience, family issues can be the toughest to resolve. Seems you don't like dealing with this kind of thing either, Kokomi. But it's still not right. I don't know how to explain my feelings. I'm sorry. We've calmed down. We shouldn't argue in front of a child like that. We're sorry, Clee. It's okay. Back to the topic at hand. Weren't you about to go look for your brother, Hado? Ah, right. Our best guess is he's somewhere around the Torrential Twister. Ah, uh, heard that name before. 
We would have to use the junction to send the cart to another area. The yellow one. Sorry to trouble you again, but would you help us find him? Oh. Oops. Oh. All I didn't right. even read that. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> God damn it, they're still... Hey, come on you two! Your brothers after all! Can't you try to get along? So how do we switch? Change direction. Take the track blossom on the screen to change the track to two cars traveling. Ah, okay. Use the wooden board to check the destination. You know it's the yellow one, just double check. Yeah, amber flower. Okay. This is the end of this track segment. Auto should be nearby. Ooh, that's cool. I can't imagine fourteen something like this, maybe. <laughs> you had repaired the tracks and stations as soon as I saw a cart come zipping along. <coughs> now that the tracks, station, and carts are all repaired, we're about ready to reopen Torrential Twister. It will be good to see my design back in action again. <sighs> You're in no condition to be out running around like this, Hato. <laughs> yeah, but these are unusual circumstances. <coughs> Hato doesn't seem well. That's true, but you should stop to think things through. Exactly. If there's anything that needs to be done, you can just let Ferdinand and I take care of it. <laughs> you and Ferdinand? Together? It would be a miracle for you two to do anything together without fighting. Hey! That's between Jeremy and me. No need to add fuel to the fire, okay? Uh, I'm not trying to make trouble. I'm just <laughs> saying. <laughs> hey, Ferdinand? Oh, uh... Don't worry, we're not arguing, Clee. We're just, uh, discussing some things. Are you and Jared worried about Hato? Hmm? Why don't you just talk to him about it? Kaya's also worried about me sometimes, but he doesn't ever criticize me. You're right, but our relationship is much better than these guys. <laughs> uh, well, our situation is a little different. Really? How so? We've been through this kind of thing before. If we didn't warn Hado, then he wouldn't take it seriously and something would eventually happen. As his brothers, we have to help him. But it doesn't look like you're helping. Mm -hmm. Maybe 
Maybe Klee doesn't understand everything. But my mommy told me that you help someone to make them feel happy, not to make yourself happy. Hado sure doesn't look very happy. Why don't you ask him what he needs? Hmm. <laughs> Klee's right, you know. You three need to open up and talk things through. You are brothers, after all. <sighs> I, um... <clears throat> I've always cared a lot about you, Hado. Just like when we were back in the desert. You suddenly passed out, and Jeremy and I started arguing. Eventually, all three of us ended up in this domain. Oh. I'm just worried that something similar could happen again. If you were to pass out and with nobody around to help you... <laughs> I know. But this domain is nowhere near as dangerous as the desert. <laughs> I was thinking that if I could handle these problems myself, then you two wouldn't have to argue about anything. If it weren't for my poor health and lack of energy all the time, then I wouldn't have always been such a burden on you two. No need to feel guilty, Hado. This was our choice. The three of us love adventuring. No one is a burden on anyone. Isn't that why we came up with the idea for this area? I would do the thinking, Ferdinand would use his muscle, and you would... Draw the blueprints and build tracks. It'll be a safe way to see all kinds of amazing scenery. Yes, that was the plan. Hey, what are you trying to say? You make it sound like I've only been trying to talk myself up. The choo-choo cart is great, Ferdinand. Really? You know, Clee, having the car zip along the tracks was my idea. Yeah, what an amazing idea. You're so smart. Hey, Clee, do you want to ride even more fun carts? Yay! Let's <laughs> ride more! Looks like all three of them are trying to win Clee's approval now. <laughs> And Klee's loving it. Klee hasn't realized it yet, but her innocent, childlike nature is very powerful. It can inspire and even help heal others. Hey, everyone. Please come with me. We need to get the Hydro Eidolon in the cart to help us. All right. Right again. Uh, activate the tracks. That looks like a desert. At the end of... Wait. Oh, that's here. We're going here. Oh yeah, this, this is correct. Alright. Q and E again. Mouse get the ready. Mouse. Okay, something changed. Return to the Torrential Twisters cut platform. Change direction. Good. Torrential Twister is ready to run now. Let's go to the station at the start of the track. Let's go. I was supposed to go there. <laughs> I thought it was stop. Oh, no. Bruh, I thought it was stop. Hado and I have double checked everything. It's all operating safely. You can go for a ride now. All right. Hold on a sec. Before we say goodbye, I have something I'd like to give you all. It's a rock climbing rope. We used it on our adventures to climb mountains and traverse many places. Climbing rope? Is this another... Huh? But doesn't it mean a lot to you? Are you sure you want to give it to us? Yes, of course. Please take it. Thanks to Klee and everyone else's help, we realize that there's a special bond that keeps us together. 
Even though it's invisible, it's even more important than rope. We can always hold on to it through tough situations. Huh? I helped? <laughs> yes, Klee. You are a big help. Even bigger than that huge thing in the middle of this place? Yes. Much bigger. Wow, that's huge! I'm so happy. Uh -huh. By the way, have you ever seen anything like the choo-choo cart in the outside world? Mm, no. Nope. Today was the first time I rode anything like it. Is that so? <coughs> I guess I'm not surprised. Seems you won't find Torrential Twister anywhere else. Torrential Twister? Is this streaming projector here? Be sure to come back and ride the choo-choo carts again while you still have the chance. Yep, I will! Mountaineering rope. Okay. Be sure to come back and visit Torrential Twister again. I hope you enjoyed it. Alright. Hey, imagine if we could build our tracks all over the world. Traveling would be so much easier. Yeah. <coughs> Thanks again. I have a feeling we'll get along much better now that we've learned to open up to each other. I suppose some things are simpler than they appear. The real problem all along was actually us. <laughs> I'm just curious. I know I already checked, but... Time to broaden the horizons again. Yeah, it doesn't work. That double... that just triple check in case. Okay, and still not done. Trainee Forest Ranger calling. Ripple. I think we have to go back. Uh, right. How when there's uh, someone in this direction? Oh, okay. Right. Uh, we have to go this direction. This is high. Oh okay, yeah, this is the one. Okay. Oh, we don't have to activate. It activates by itself. One hundred? Uh, oh, okay. You can't even press. Oh, shit. <laughs> right, left, 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 right, double. Okay. Oh yeah, that's what this. Three tracks painted. Uh, Right, left, right, left, 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 right, left, left, right, <laughs> eighty nine. Ah, ninety nine. Where's the other one? Oh, is it not that? Oh. <laughs> Alright, two more. Holy shit, there's a lot more. Whew. Can we get the chest first? Something a master thief would like to report. Do you still remember our mission? We were supposed to find another. Uh oh! 
I was having so much fun that I almost forgot. We're supposed to be helping Adia look for the missing yes. components. But don't worry. I've already got one. You mean you snatched it when we weren't looking? <laughs> I didn't have to go that far. In fact, the component we were searching for was the actually rope. that orange rope. If anything, so you could second. say it came right into our hands at the right time. Let's head back and give it to Adia. Aw, do we really have to go? <sighs> okay. Even though I want to keep playing, I know Adia is really important. And that's our wise mage. <sighs> <laughs> Don't worry. Tonight, you'll be able to see stars in the water and watch fish dance in the sky. Uh, seems Kokomi's <laughs> out of it after that ride. Her face is completely blank and her lip was trembling while she was speaking. <sighs> Maybe we should have a rest for a while. Uh, huh? I thought I was keeping my composure pretty well. <laughs> Don't worry, my mind is always spinning. I'm used to this. We should head back to Idea. Look at me, uh, sleepy. Looking very sleepy there. How about we hold hands, Miss General? Clee will give you energy. Give you energy. Uh huh. After holding Clee's hand, plus the stars in the sky and the fish in the water have all disappeared. I must have been seeing things from riding the cart. <sighs> hmm? What are you smiling about, Kokomi? Uh huh? Oh. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> okay, return to the courtyard. And I think this will be the end of part one. I assume. <laughs> wow, we covered the whole place, yeah. But we didn't open the waypoint. I shit. I missed the waypoint. I had to get back there later and open it. How did I miss? <sighs> ah, whatever. Let's go back. I must have forgotten about it. All right. Should have taken the other way, but... What is this thing in the center? Welcome back! Well, any good news? Oh, don't tell me! You've taken care of all the problems and now I don't have to do anything? You won't be disappointed. Yet we took care of everything. <laughs> yeah! We even rode the choo-choo cart! Do you want to come ride too? <sighs> Uh, but maybe you'll have to wait till tomorrow. I'm a little tired now. Seems she had a little too much fun and now she's about to crash. <laughs> I think yeah. it's time for a rest. I think I need a rest too. <laughs> I didn't think it would be this long for one Good part. Good idea. I think we could all use some downtime. Thanks for giving me some energy, Klee. Then we'll see you later. Alright. Bye, Mr. Honorary Knight. Bye, everyone. Oh. Well, it sounds like our young mage enjoyed herself. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy that she had a good time. So, back to the missing component. Did you bring it? The rope. You bet. Kaya said that the missing component was this orange climbing rope. Ah, it just occurred to me that you probably ran into the three brothers while you were in the canyon. Yeah. If I remember correctly, the two eldest brothers were taking their sickly younger brother on adventures when they ran into a sandstorm and ended up here. They were all arguing with one another when they first arrived, but it wasn't long before they broke down and were huddled together in tears. Oh, they sure must have a lot of energy to keep up their bickering and adventuring every day. I'm a little worried about them, yet quite envious of all that energy. <laughs> you almost sound as if you're reminiscing about old friends, Idia. Yes, I've known them for quite some time after all. 
But I seldom go to that area. You can hold on to the rope for now, Traveler. I have no use for it until we have the other components. Well, we can try and maybe it opens up another... Or maybe, yeah, maybe that would be the next two days from now. By the way, Eula and Kale have also returned, but I'm afraid they weren't able to make much headway. They mentioned that they would like to head to the jungle north of here, once you have all rested up. Now that I've told oh, you that's... everything, I'll go rest. Uh, well, I mean, I'll go, rest. I'll go and check on the situation in the <laughs> remaining two areas. Do you need me to accompany you? Oh, uh, no, it's all right. You've already accomplished a lot today. You should rest up. And it's done, right? Yep. <sighs> All right. Ah, I do really need a rest. <laughs> okay, that's part one. I will need to check on this video later if my volume is okay. I feel like it might be too loud. Well, my microphone, maybe. I don't know. I need to see how this video ends up. And uh, Please skin, I'll buy once they reveal the skin in the story. I think there will be. So I'm not gonna buy yet. But what is this water? I'm curious. Oh, I can't go in. Okay, I thought I can go in the water. Oh, there's a lot to explore. And I missed the waypoint. Two, actually. Oh, right. This was underground. We were from there. Oh, two waypoints I missed. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, I'll, I'll open it later on whenever I had the time. But okay guys, that's it for part 1 of this uh, event story. Not here. It's bombs. This one. Secret Summer Paradise part 1. Huh? Okay, so that's part 2 and 3, 2 days from now. Part guide, what is this? Oh, this is all the mechanics in here. Okay. Collection on Cloud 9. Collect 270? What's this? It's a gadget. Used to find all vouchers within the... Oh my, this is like the treasure location thingy, but you need 270 find it by yourself. 150 for the skin, right? 150 for Kaya's skin, okay. Oh no, there's one here. Hey no, this is different. Felicitous Joy Spa Flowing Joy Spa Use this to find in an AOE Oh So this gives you a hint on where is it This just helps you find where is it Okay 150 primos here, okay Attractions, not a lot. Right, this is two hours long already. <laughs> That's it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.